Hey, Laurel. Hi, Laurel Holloman. Welcome. Thank you for chatting with us today. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Tracy. Of course. And I wanted to begin by asking you, you're now back for Generation Q for its third season after this, you know, shooting the second season at the height of COVID. And I wonder if you would uh, talk a little bit about coming back with this cast where I imagine it's gelled quite a bit more and, and what the process was like uh, shooting this season. Um, it, compared to second season when we even started before, you know, not all the vaccines were done and everything like that, it was, it, it was just amazing. It was very organized. It, uh, it, it, was, it, it was like a smooth operating ship. That's the only thing I can say. And it was just nice because I think uh, everyone was so excited to come back mm -hmm. for a third season. So, yeah, wonderful. Uh, this season to me as a fan uh, felt like a real, or at least what I've seen of it so far, feels like a real return to form. And of course it starts out with such a bang. Um, with, yeah. With you and Jennifer really giving the fans uh, what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder maybe what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, I wonder, would you talk a little bit about this 20 year, almost 20 year on screen relationship that you formed with Jennifer Beals, who's just remarkable? And yeah. that that chemistry that it's just lightning in a bottle that you both have it. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> well, thank you. Um yeah. We had something right off the bat, very quickly, starting in the pilot. And I, I think we were so excited to have these roles, these roles with two women that were, it was so fleshed out and we could um, really kind of sink our teeth into something dynamic. And I think we were just really excited about that. And then the lightning in a bottle part, that's just, luck. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. It's just, I, it's trust, I think, um, and commitment. And I mean, I had a situation where I took a break and then I had another career and I came back. And I mean, to be honest, I don't, I don't think I could have done that without Jen. You know, she gave me a lot of confidence to come back and everything. And I think with these two characters, you want to see them earn this relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to see certain dynamics. I mean, we were, we were very careful. We didn't want to play something we've played before and we've told a lot of stories so i think in season three you're gonna see something a little different so i mean you you see the beginning of tina becoming interested in like oh who is this new bet you right. know and then there was that time frame where they weren't really talking i mean it's all happening off screen but a year goes by and bet really works on herself and you know, that opening scene where Tina says, I just wish you were better at it. I, what, what she's really saying is like, why didn't you come to me earlier? Why, why wasn't this more uh, functioning in a different way than the messiness of, you know, manipulating the relationship with Carrie somehow, or just mm -hmm. getting in there and being dysfunctional and not really communicating in the same way. And you see in second season, Tina is asking, are you still in love with me? Like what there, she wants it to be, more communicative and they're not there yet and then you yeah. see that later yeah i think it's i think it's wonderful i mean because it's it's beautiful to see bet evolve but it's also played to a comedic effect when she hits the car at ucla which and, is great yeah <laughs> alice and shane are like oh no oh no <laughs> yeah because we've seen bet in a car accident before and it wasn't cute <laughs> no, no. It, was, it was feisty yeah. <laughs> I wonder, would you talk a little bit about this? Um, you mentioned uh, before we came on officially this kind of rom com esque um, grand gesture uh, that is coming up in an episode, uh, and kind of the yeah was that fun? It's was very that fun for you to play? Well, shooting it was super fun. We mm -hmm. were downtown. We were downtown LA. We were there all night um we were in a scheduling situation where someone had gotten covid so we we're rearranging things really quickly and we were like what can we do and this is what we ended up shooting and i was so glad like we just had so much fun out there that night and when i first read it and i think it was just great i feel like marja was capturing something that was like we see these romantic comedies all the time but we don't quite see it in this way 
And I just love her chasing after the car. <laughs> it was I wonderful. just love it. And then, you know, you, you see that moment where the chemistry takes over. Like, that's where I think that Jen and I do our best is just that her getting into the car and just kind of, that's it. They're going to, Tina's heard what she needed to hear. <laughs> It was so yeah. good. I was screaming at my TV. You were? <laughs> yes, I get so excited. <laughs> um, I wonder too, would you talk about Jordan Hall, who plays Angie, is such a fine young actor, so, so self-possessed. And yeah. talk a little bit about- Talk about lightning in a bottle. That's <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah. Would you talk a little bit about working with Jordan and creating this family with Jordan and Jennifer on screen? Um, well, first of all, when Jen told me about Jordan, she was like, you're just going to be blown away. This is just a perfect situation. And Jordan is, she's so talented. She's so, um, committed to trying different things. She's so easy to work with. Um, it's just, she's such a natural. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. She's terrific. Um, yeah. She kind of ups the game for everybody, to be honest. She keeps you really on your toes. And um, there are some scenes later on that I can't go into too much detail, but, you know, Tina and Angie go head to head. And um, it was every single take that was amazing just to, to stand opposite her. So I think she's a, I can't wait to see what she's going to do next. She's fantastic. Amazing. Well, thank you. Yeah. I uh, also, you know, uh, that scene at UCLA that, that was played for some comedy, but there's this really mm -hmm. beautiful thing happening where aunties Alice and Shane are there and there's this chosen family that there's the the nuclear family of, you know, uh, Bet, Tina and Angie, and then there's the chosen family. And it's mm -hmm. so, so critical to LGBTQ plus lives. Yes. That. And I wonder, would you please talk a little bit about modeling that on screen for people who, who may need to see that and know that that, that community exists? Um, I think that what the show's always done is like created, uh, we form our own families. We form the people that are going to be the best support network around us. And that's pretty much what Bet and Tina do. And I, I just feel like the show flows in a way where you keep seeing that, not just with our characters, but with the younger characters also, is that, you know, that's, that's part of what that, you know, that support network you need. I don't, I don't know exactly how to articulate it, but it's, it, I love it just to play like the old guard all together. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. see that. And then there's such a, a nice flow between, um, you know, Jordan and Kate and Leisha. Yeah. And it's very yeah. familiar. You know, yeah, they're really good um, together. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you have too many. If you have any scenes with her this season, but since we didn't talk last season, uh, oh, I know what you're saying. Rosie O'Donnell. Um, she's back, and the scenes are going to be fabulous. So, um, yeah. I can't say what they're about. I feel, I feel like that's for Rosie to say. So I think she's talked a little bit about it. I think she was on Howard Stern talking about it. Yeah. So it's, you're definitely going to see Carrie and you'll see yeah. Tina, but yeah. I can't say too much about <laughs> whether or not you'll see them together. You just have to okay. wait and see. Would you talk a little bit about working with Rosie? Oh my God. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's, there's some, some of my favorite scenes have, have been, you know, sitting across from her. There's a moment when, Tina tells her she's so beautiful and there it's just such a beautiful moment between them as a couple. And I, I just, uh, everything we played was a joy. She's, she's yeah. fantastic to work with. We're so lucky to have her. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, well, Laurel, I, I just have kind of a, a general question. Um, you've been a part of this for almost 20 years. <laughs> it's so meaningful to people. What, what is it? mean to you to be a part of this show that still affects people really deeply. I am a 50 something year old woman shouting at my TV and still feeling really seen by the L word. Um, and yeah. it, it just means a lot. I think uh, to work as an actor and to get to do something so impactful, first of all, that's an incredible gift. 
Yeah. Um, and we just have the most amazing fans. And it, I just, I'm super excited to be part of, you know, representing the family on TV and being part of the legacy of what this incredible brand has been. Yeah. Um, I, I hope it continues. You know, I, I just think, I think it's just a testament to good storytelling. Yeah. I agree. And I uh, needed well, to be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we're so glad you are. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to give you an opportunity if there's anything else you wanted to say about the L word or anything you're working on that you wanted to mention. I just wanted to give you that chance. No, I just, I'm, I want to say thank you to all the fans because we really wouldn't be back, back there without them, you know? And I'm so happy that like people love this relationship of Matt and Tina as much as Jen and I do, as much as we love these characters and love this family. So, and just one of the special things as you get towards the end is um, to be directed by Kate Moning and Leisha Haley. That was- I didn't know that. Yeah, That's so they, they direct the last two episodes. I can say that, people know that. <laughs> so, together, they do it together? No, they each direct an episode. Wow. And that was gold. Yeah. It was just fantastic. It was just to look up and you're working with someone that knows you, knows your character and knows the show so well. And, you know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's great. I, so, I wish I'd known that. I interviewed them yeah. last week. I didn't realize that. So, uh-oh. Oh, uh, they're, they're directed? <laughs> they're great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this well, is a, well, totally my favorite season. It's, it's, I can't wait for people to see it. It's so good so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Laurel Holloman, thank you so much for this conversation and congratulations on season three. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. Of course. Okay.